Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 1985 American action adventure comedy film called The Jewel of the Nile. So taking place six months after the events in Romancing the Stone, Joanne Wilders and Jack Colton's romance has grown stale while Moored at the port in the south of France, Joan, suffering writer's block, wants to return to New York City, while Jack prefers aimlessly sailing the world on his boat, the Angelina. At a book signing engagement, Joan meets Omar Khalifa, a charming Arab ruler who wants Joan to write his biography. Joanne accepts and leaves with Omar over Jack's protest. Jack later runs into Ralph, the swindler from Jack and Joanne's previous adventure in Colombia, who demands Jack turn over the stone Jack and Joanne found. And Tarak informs Jack about Omar's true intention and claims that Omar has the jewel of Nile. Just as Tarak finishes his explanation, the Angelina explodes from a bomb set by one of Omar's men. Ralph and Jack team up with to find Joanne and the fabled jewel. So after encountering a Nubian mountain tribe, Joanne and Jack, romance is rekindled. Joanne tells Jack that the jewel is not a gem stone but a jewel hara. In Kadir, Omar intends to use a smoke and mirror special effect provided by a British rock promoter to convince onlookers that he is the prophet who will unite the Arab world together again. Jack, Joan and Al Jahara arrives to expose Omar but are captured. Omar suspends Jack and Joan with ropes over the deep pit while Al Jahara is in a stockade. Ralph along with the Sufi tribe arrives in time to rescue the three prisoners. As Omar takes center stage to address the Arab people, Jack and Joanne disrupt the ceremony while the Safi battles Omar's guide. A fire breaks out, engulfing Omar's stage. Jack and Joanne are separated, and Omar con uh, corners Joanne atop the burning scaffolding. Ralph, using a giant crane, helps Jack reach Joanne in the nick of time. He takes Omar over the side and down into the flames, killing him. Al Jahara rise, rises and safely walks through the blazing inferno, fulfilling the prophecy that he is the true spiritual leader. And the following day, Jack and Joanne are married by Al Jahara, while Jack, no, sorry, while Ralph is genuinely happy for Jack and Joanne. He laments once again, having gained nothing for his efforts. But Tara acknowledges that he is true. He is a true Safi friend, and presents him with a jeweled dagger, as Jack and Joanne happily sail away down the Nile. 